in this video i'm going to be walking you through octo browser and go login okay so this is going to be a versus kind of video and i'm going to walk you through both browsers so by the end of this video you're going to be able to decide the best browser for your business okay so with that being said let's get started so first off if you don't know what these softwares are they are actually anti-detect browsers okay so what they do is they help you manage multiple accounts on the internet and stay organized okay so if your work requires managing a lot of accounts these softwares are going to help you out with managing accounts and staying organized and also creating multiple accounts on the internet without getting banned okay so with that being said we're going to take a look at these browsers okay so first off we're going to take a look at go login okay so go login is basically an anti detect browser over here on their website you see that they said anti detect browser for creating and running multiple accounts okay and over here is their review actually and they have excellent review and if you also come over to octo browser you see basically anti detect browser for multi accounting and basically some information on their browser okay so it's used for affiliate marketing e-commerce bounty and airdrop web scraping bonus hunting and over here they have some more information about the software okay and also if you click on trust pilot you see that it's going to redirect you here and you see it also has excellent rating right here okay both softwares are good but the purpose of this video is to review the features of this software so you know the best one to choose for your business okay so that's it for the website interface and the reviews now i'm going to actually launch both of these browsers and actually show you the interface and the features of these browsers okay so first off we're going to be looking at go login okay first thing we have is their profile okay if you want to create a profile you can very easily click on add profile right here and what that will do is going to pop up this little window right here that you can use to edit your profile okay so you can very easily come over here input your profile name let's just be like test okay and over here you can edit a lot of information okay this is your overview actually where you have your operating systems windows 10 11 mac linux and also they have android okay and you can very easily click on new fingerprint to generate new fingerprints okay so in the second tab you can actually add your proxies and right here you can edit your time zone information same thing with your extension bookmarks web rtc and your geo location okay and also have advanced settings right here and also you can actually import cookies okay now you might be wondering well how can i group my work okay you can't group your work but what you can do is to actually create folders so it can be like ads and whenever you see this ads folder you know that this folder is for ads okay so that's what that does okay and over here you can buy proxies okay you can click on buy proxies and once you click on that it's going to pop up this window that you can actually click on to buy proxies okay so you can buy these proxies but if you want to stay anonymous online this type of proxies are not the best cause this proxies has probably been used by a lot of people and if you use this proxy to browse with a new fingerprint you might raise red flags and they might ban you okay so you don't want to use proxies like this the one i actually use is proxy line okay so that's it for the proxy section and over here is your summary okay this is your summary of your computer fingerprint okay this is how exactly sites are going to see you when you visit them okay so once you have simply set your basic settings you can very easily click on create profile and what that will do is it's going to actually give you a profile okay and that's basically how it works okay and over here is where you can actually do some settings okay so over here is the api and a bunch of other settings okay so that's it for go login and now i'm going to show you the interface of octo browser okay so over here is octo browser now if you compare this to go login you see that octo browser is kind of cleaner than go login so if you take a look right here you see that this is sort of like a list and the tags are not uh, well positioned okay you're going to have to click on this menu icon to actually locate folders okay they don't have tags they have folders and once you click on it then you can actually locate the folders but with octo browser you have everything organized okay so these are the tags right here you can just click on facebook and that will send you to facebook tags same thing if you click on google okay so everything is organized in my own opinion now i'm going to go ahead and actually create a browser profile okay so to create a browser profile you can just click on the obvious blue button on the top right here that says create profile and what that will do is it's going to send you here okay so over here is your profile name okay so it can be like facebook ads and that's our profile name and over here we can write our description now this description helps you to actually remember what your browser profile is for okay so let's just be like ecom product facebook ad ads account 
something like that okay so after that you have a template so you can scroll down and actually edit more information okay so here is where you set your proxy you can just click on set a new proxy and actually set your proxy okay so i'm not going to do that right here because this is not a tutorial video this is a review video okay now when it comes to the proxy section on octo browser octo browser has partnered with proxy services to actually make things cheap and easy for you okay so if you look at their website right here you see that they have actually partnered with proxy sites to make things cheap and easy for you okay they've partnered with xox to give you 10 gig and they've partnered with smart proxy to give you 15 percent discount okay so that's it for the proxy section okay so you can very easily set up your proxy very easily and over here you can actually start pages with bookmark if you want to add bookmark it's self-explanatory you can also start pages by inputting the bookmark right here and also you can import bookmarks okay so over here is your storage settings you can also basically edit this it's super simple and neat okay so i'm sure a beginner can use this software okay so over here is your fingerprint you can edit your fingerprint now some anti-detect browsers out there will give you a random fingerprint that's not actually real okay but octo browser will give you a real fingerprint any fingerprint that they give you right here is a real fingerprint okay it's a real device okay so that's one thing about octo browser right here okay so you can just actually edit your fingerprint and make it seem however you like okay so over here they have windows and mac why go login has windows mac android and all of that okay and over here you can actually change your versions and all of that okay but the good thing about these guys is they give you real fingerprint so your fingerprint is going to look like a real device okay so over here is your cookie section you can also edit that and over here is your security okay now go login actually have a two-factor authentication same thing with octo browser and by default this guys has end-to-end -end encryption so your account is secured and can't be accessed by unauthorized users okay so after your security you have your extensions and you can actually search and add new extensions and all of that okay so over here they have their tags okay so you can just put this on facebook let's say because this is for facebook ads you can keep it on facebook and actually click on create profile okay so once you click on that you're going to have a profile right here now as you can see right here everything is neatly organized now because of these guys organized everything correctly if you want to access your facebook account profiles you can very easily click on facebook right here and what that will do is it's going to pull up all your facebook profiles okay and obviously as you can see it is very neat so that's it for the profiles and tags okay now i'm going to talk about the proxies okay now what i like about octo browser is they actually have proxy managing section okay if you click on here you see that you have a dedicated section that you can use to manage your proxies okay and over here you can very easily click on add proxies and that will give you option to add your proxies very easily now another thing that i like about this site is that you can add bulk proxies by very easily clicking on add bulk okay so what that will do is it's going to give you option to add a lot of proxies at the same time and that actually saves you a lot of time okay so that's it for the proxy session okay you can use that and also they also have templates right here okay you can very easily click on create template and over here you can actually create your template okay so once you create your template it's going to be easier for you to create browser profiles okay so when you actually want to create browser profiles if you don't want to do a lot of configurations you can just use the template you have created okay and that's actually a time saver okay so overall octo browser is pretty clean to use as you can see everything is clean and also if you want to create a quick profile without all the configuration stuff you can just click on quick profile and it's going to actually create a quick profile for you okay so with that being said if you are actually a big business and you actually have teams working for you you can also give them access to your octo browser account okay by very easily clicking your profile and clicking on team right here okay so once you click on that it's going to actually send you here where you can add your teams and you can actually customize what they get to do inside of the account and also they also have where you can actually contact the octo browser support right here okay you can click on here and what that will do is it's going to send you here so over here is their chat support you can very easily chat them if you have any issues and they're going to actually respond to your message okay so same thing with go login right here you can also add teams actually very easily by clicking on this menu icon and clicking on settings and members okay so once you click on that it's going to send you here and you can actually add your teams okay now i've showed you the go login and octo browser interface now i'm going to show you the pricing and i'll give you my overall thoughts on both browsers 
okay so over here at the go login website you see that they actually have four plans okay they have the professional business enterprise and the custom plan and you can actually scroll down to see what you get with each plans okay and also they give you 50 percent discount if you pay annually but if you want to pay monthly they're not going to give you any discount okay so that's how this thing is okay now we're going to look at the octo browser pricing okay so over here you can see their pricing okay their pricing starts at 21 euros so they have starter base team advanced and custom okay so these are the plans that they have and you can actually go through them and find the best one for your business okay so if you look out the octo browser and go login you find out that their price are similar but go login is actually cheaper okay go login is cheaper and octo browser has more features okay so overall go login has more fingerprints but octa browser give you real fingerprint and also octa browser has an option for you to create a template that you can use to create profiles quickly while go login only has a default okay and thirdly octa browser uses latest chromium okay if you don't know what chromium is it's sort of like a google version but it's the type that anti-detect browsers use okay octa browser has the latest version why when it comes to go login the update is irregular and go login actually works on cloud and they also have a mobile app why octa browser only works on desktop okay and finally they both have good customer service now in conclusion if you want to save money go login is a decent option for you okay because they are actually more affordable but if you want more quality and premium features octa browser is the best software for you okay so generally they are both good softwares with that being said i'm going to wrap this video up here if you got value out of this video make sure to smash the thumbs up button and if you haven't already sub to the channel because i'm all about making money online okay and with all of that being said i'm going to talk to every single one of you guys in the next video peace